We want these companies, these online platforms where this is happening to stop this before it becomes a big problem. As more people get vaccinated, crooks are out and about again, this time making vaccine cards. The state attorney general's office spoke with call for action problem solver Carice Jackman about this new scam and what you need to know tonight. It's what you're handed after getting your first or second dose, a vaccine card showing you've got your COVID-19 shot. Those who have already gotten their vaccines feel relieved. First day I was feeling kind of blah, second day I felt better. No problems. Well, it certainly adds a level of freedom to your, you know, your activities and, and, and confidence and going back to almost normal. It's a good thing to have to do, you know what I'm saying? But now the state attorney general's office and more than 40 other AGs across the country are warning online websites about phony vaccine cards popping up on the Internet. Either they're blank or they're actually filled out and they were being sold for anywhere between five and $200. Communications Director Samantha Fisher with the AG's office says they're alerting different places to be on the lookout. So we sent letters to these online marketplaces like eBay, Twitter, Shopify, also offer up um, saying, hey, this is going on. Please stop it. Fisher also says those responsible for doing this could be breaking state and federal laws. In some cases, we're seeing the logos of the Department of Health or the CDC being used. And if you're considering buying one of these fake cards, those who have gotten the shot say consider what you're doing to your own community. If they want to do what they want to do, that in includes infecting other people. I think if you get the vaccine, you will get a legitimate card and therefore put all the fake card people makers out of business. You need to stop. You may be breaking state or federal laws, and if you continue doing it, state attorneys general are going to come after you. News 4 also asked the AG's office, do they plan on going after the people who are actually buying these fake vaccination cards? They told me right now they're solely focused on the platforms they're noticing them on. But they did say if they're noticing people buying them in bulk or buying them blank, they will press on that too. I'm Call for Action Problem Solver, Chris Jackman, News 4 Nashville.